Khasi people are an indigenous ethnic group of Meghalaya in the northeastern part of India. The Khasi people are known for their simplicity. Their culture is comparatively rich from the way they dress to the food they consume. This documentary focuses on the Khasi indigenous food, that is, Kijingbam Tanrai Ukhasi. There are many varieties of kapu or pu meaning kig in the category of khasi food. These kapu are perfectly healthy and people can eat it at any hour of the day. There is one undoubtedly healthy option, traditional fare of the khasi tribes that have stood the test of time, still using each old cooking methods. Here we'll talk about food prepared by the khasis, the largest tribe in Meghalaya. Some of the most popular types of kapu are Putaru, Puto, Pumaloi, or Pusep, Puklen, Pusla, Punei, Pupuna, and Jashulia. To know more about kapu kasi or kasi rice cake, this documentary will focus on one of the popular bakers in Shillong who lives in Maulai Umjan, whose name is Jimsi Karbuli or Kong Karbuli. Kong Karbuli and her family have continued this tradition of cooking which was first started by her grandmother which would mean that this is the third generation of them doing the job. They make different kinds of kapu and sell them at the marketplace or yodo and also at tea stalls. Some of the people also usually come by their house to buy them themselves. In this documentary, we will focus only on the three types of kapu or rice cake made by Kong Karbuli. They are Putharu, Puklen, and Pumaloi or Pusep. Let us first look at the first type of kapu, which is Putharu. Putharu has been one of the most significant dishes in the Kasi society. It is a flat-like bread made out of rice. First of all, the rice is put into a large wooden plong mortar and with a wooden sunray pestle, it is pounded into flour or powder. Later, they will mix it with water and bake it in a traditional baking pan known as kyosarao and bake it for 3 to 4 minutes till it's cooked. Putaro is a staple food for breakfast and a snack for tea. Majority of the dishes we eat for breakfast and snacks are made out of rice. Putaro is best eaten along with meat recipes, namely dojam, pork innards cooked with black dill seeds. Now we will move on to the second type of kapu, which is puklen. Puklen is also another traditional dish. It is smaller compared to the putharo and this dish is a bit sweet. And as it was mentioned earlier, majority of these dishes are made from rice, but they have different ways of preparation. This dish is quite light, crunchy on the outside, but soft on the inside. It has its own unique flavor and tastes nothing like you've ever tasted before. Many people coming from afar have tasted this snack since that it lingers in the palate for a very long time. Finally, we move on to the final type of kapu, which is pu maloi or pus ep. Unlike the putaro or puklen, the pu maloi, also known as pus ep, is made by steaming the rice flour. The rice flour which is used for this item is more coarse compared to the other items. The rice flour is mixed with a bit of water then it starts to stick together but still crumbles. The dough is again pressed through a sieve. Once the dough has become grainy and moist, it is then steamed. Pu means bread as we know now and sep means steam.
When it comes to food, people nowadays are spoiled with choices. There's food every way one looks. The streets are full of them, suiting every palate. But are they healthy? Possibly, possibly not. These food have no additives, are healthy and can be eaten without fear of an upset stomach. They feel thoroughly, satisfy one as no other food can. Made of different varieties of rice, they are either steamed or baked, oil free and salt free. They go easy on the tummy while they delight the palate. Admittedly, one has to first acquire a taste, as they are bland as ever. Accompanied with meat, vegetables, stews, chutneys, they make delightful combos. The Kasi food and cuisines have been enlightened in this documentary to showcase the healthy choice of lifestyle adopted by the Kasi people. Through this documentary, it is hopeful that the love of Kasi food would be enriched in the palates and spirits of the people in order to keep the cuisine alive.